Hello, my name is John Watson. I'm the tech support manager for Load Systems International. During this segment, we will discuss how to modify, add, and remove a sensor from the sensor list. On the GS820, we must first push the menu button. And for the sensor list, we must go to the installation menu and then select sensor list. Put in our password and here we have our sensor list. To modify a sensor, for example if you have a new load cell to replace a defective load cell, we simply select the sensor to be changed, push the modify button, now the sensor type is blinking. We're not changing the sensor type, just the ID number. So we use our right arrow to move over and we also use a right and left arrow to select the digit to be changed. Find the digits that are different. Use the up and down arrow to change the number. The new ID number is G73793. Once completed, verify you have the correct ID number input and select the confirm button. Now, to exit, hit exit. It will ask you to save and we save and it reinitializes with a new ID number. To add a sensor, first go to our sensor list and we use the down arrow to find the first empty spot, which is in, in this system sensor number nine. We hit modify now for the sensor type, when you add a sensor, it's important that the sensor type and the sensor ID number both be input correctly or it will not work properly. So right now it says no sensor. We use the up and down arrow to select the sensor type. In this case, it's a wind sensor. We have wind sensor selected. So we use our right arrow to move over to the numbers. In this case, the number is 100693. Use our up and down arrow, change the digit. 100, zero, zero. we must find a 6, 9. Once you have your new number input, hit confirm, then exit. It will ask you to save and then it reinitializes with a new sensor. To completely remove a sensor properly, you must remove the sensor type as well as a sensor ID number. So we use our up and down arrow to select no sensor. Use our right arrow to remove our digits, just bring all your digits down to zero. Right and left arrow to select the digit. Zero. Now once you have no sensor and all your digits to zero for your ID number, select confirm. Exit. It will add, prompt you to quit or save. Of course we want to save and reinitialize without that sensor. When replacing a sensor, let us know the old ID number. We can then set up the new sensor to intercept the display signal and auto-update the sensor list.